What's up guys and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. So, I I never played this game in third person. I always play it in first person. So, Hello, what's up buddy? So, I think for this episode, I'm going to play it completely in uh, third person. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that here. Oh, doggo. No pet doggo. Okay. That last two I had was really damn good. Glad to hear it. I'll make a cook of you yet? Sure, Arthur. Hey, thanks again for. Saving me in that cornfield. Of course, you do the same. Let's keep our eye on Mr. Trelawney. Arthur, how's the cigar? Not bad, but sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in and black water. I know. Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. <laughs> oh, don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> Hello. You know, I'm sure Grimshaw could use an extra pair of hands around here. Well, I'm nobody's serving girl, Mr. Morgan. Well, we all need to do our share. All right then, Arthur. Oh, okay. Real shame about them calendar boys, I reckon. Sure. <laughs> you know, I once saw Mac beat up 15 sailors. <laughs> that ain't nothing. Everybody knows them Navy boys can't fight. That's why they float. <laughs> That's so. <laughs> sure. That ain't nothing. I once beat up 20. Okay. <laughs> but, uh... I'm gonna miss Mac. He was a good man. Bro, all the. Like to rob alongside? <laughs> good way of being sentimental, man. Heartless son of a bitch. But he had a heart. Mm, that makes any sense. <laughs> I know what you mean. R.I.P. Mac. Ugh. I guess I can't. Oh, yeah. Hi. Try to leave some for the rest of us. I'm starving. I can see that. All right. <laughs> Good evening, Arthur. You like the new camp, Reverend? Oh, yes. We moved, didn't we? God help us. All right, well, I should be getting on. Certainly. Oh, there's Jack. Hey, Arthur. When the time comes, how you think you'll act? I ain't giving him much thought. Well, I have. A lot. I think we'll be okay. But then again, well, maybe not. We are all just creatures living as it were on a sea of magma all is temporary ain't no souls ain't nothing but well that's a very bleak outlook I guess I plan on leaving with a hole shot in me There she is. You got this place whipped into shape, all right. I'm trying. You can only imagine what we'd be like left to our own devices. Okay. Like your new home? I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Keep your nose clean. You okay, Uncle? Yeah, I'm gonna do some sniffing around, see if I can drum up some leads well do it quietly 
Anyway, I won't disturb you. Yeah. Then good, really smoke. We sail into the Hudson. The whole city is on fire because of riots due to the war. I believe I have arrived literally in hell. My uncle is so horrified, he promptly drops down dead. And I am all alone in the new world. <laughs> How strange fate is. And look at you now, living the dream. Or the nightmare, depending on the day. Indeed. Okay, well, let's talk more later. I suppose. Hey, Pearson. Hi. You seem in a good mood. Hardly. Okay, maybe not then. Sure. Hello, gentlemen. Hey. You all right there? I'm not sure. What are we gonna do with you? I guess. That's a logical we'll that bank job. conversation. Loved every minute. There'll be plenty more where that came from. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else around? Arthur. Are you busy, Arthur? Ah, oh, I started well, this. I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hello. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've, I found something interesting. Yeah. Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course, I <laughs> robbed a goddamn stagecoach. <laughs> you know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. So, talking of men of words, not action? You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? Oh, okay. That's right. I could ask the same oh, of you. Sorry, sir. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until... Well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. He's very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. 
Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. <laughs> They're talking about cars. <laughs> here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Sidwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say... Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance. The unions are whipping them up. So they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Here we are. This is the spot. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Country. Oh, no, 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 Did you no, say no, a no, show? No. 
It's a small benefit. Could offer some black water. Just Mrs. Chester Danson. <laughs> I flatter. <laughs> but a... now stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! York audience, they were rather cruel. New Yorkers are prigs and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Would, could, could you? It's, it's such a small show, but would you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson. You owe it to West Elizabeth. Du cri de la chitar, non la star per I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough. Uh, Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. There's no way I just did that. There's no fucking way I just did that without any problems. There has to be some kind of bullshit that's about to happen, right? There's no fucking way that I just went up, took the money, and done. There's no fucking way I just did that. Well done, sir. Well done. There's no fucking way I just did that. Here you go. Thank you. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur! Okay, it turns out I just fucking did that. Good morning to you. You got a real talent, friend. Keep it up. Welcome back, sir. Oh, Christ. Why, why did that happen? Why the fuck did that just happen? Why the fuck did that just happen exactly? It's fucking bullshit. Now I gotta go pay the bounty. Fuck you guys. to make the choice and not me. Just... 
leave me alone, will you? This is exhausting. He's watching. He's always watching. He's never talking. They won't forgive you. Uh-uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. Well, I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> Well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. That's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here, well away from them. See, they come for me, but I'm watching. Yeah. I, I never sleep. I never do. Oh, you got a little camp set up here. Uh. Hey. You're just like him, always staring. <laughs> Oh, this game's fucking weird sometimes. I love it. So, I'm back up in the snowy biome. Because I wanted to go back... Uh... To where they first set up camp. But then I read about there's a grave for one of the characters that... Died off outside of the story. And I wanted to go see it. And... See, uh... See what happens. You know, this has made my room really cold being up here. I uh, I went the wrong way, so I'm kind of I kind of have to backtrack and come back up. But I think it's up here. What I'm looking for. <laughs> My bad! Alright guys, there it is. What I was looking for. Jenny Kirk. I mean, obviously, I haven't seen this because. Oh, that's sad. Okay, Galaxy, let's go. This game is fucking depressing.
What you looking for? A paper? Thanks. Have a great day. Hello, sir. You, um, doing okay? No complaints. Been pushing these papers. Yeah! Here, a lawman got beaten near to death trying to get into Van Horn. Won't be the first time, would it? So, I decided to go meet up with Hosea instead of John. Unless I just get to meet him with meet up with both of them, then I don't know. Mrs. Braithwaite, my associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. All righty, let's go do this shit. Closer. Ah, uh, please come in, sir. Find joys of tobacco. Sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> So these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on, or we'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. A smoke fucker. Okay. <laughs> so what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Horns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. There really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. 
Just yeah, that's all. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right then. Okay, so the first mission I did, going right, scares me. They built that real well, that's what you if this mission goes right, the third mission is definitely gonna ship make me shit my pants. Whoa! Hold up a second. You not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and back, if you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's great. Oh my god, it's sticking out of the top! That is glorious. We're here. Stay out of sight. We'll do the talking. <laughs> That's cool. Don't mind my gun sticking out of the top, man. That's just, uh... What do you want, boy? Something. I... There, there was a thing... A, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal. In Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, <sighs> uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. Oh my god. Uh, Hamish. Go to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> Swear to God if you I'm fart, Sean. Seamus. My people come from Scotland. How's that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. It's like a like a like a covert mission, man. Just over here. Just ignore the gun peeking through the canopy. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, when they said they was looking for more drivers in town, I jumped at the chance. I've never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <coughs> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite that. Biggest place is imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? yeah. Okay. <laughs> How you getting on? Good. Here they got these things ready. Okay. Jesus, how long have we fucking been here? Sure. And you? 
I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rain, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> what the fuck is that with my... <laughs> do it. <laughs> oh my god, that's Let's amazing. Why is my why is Once my bandolier like that? There'll be no turning back. Oh come on, man! I've never stopped, boy. I was born born down a matter of houses. We'll burn quietly. Why why was my bandolier like that? Boy, there's someone coming on the left. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, oh, hey! Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. Ugh. What? You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. That's good for you. Oh shit. Wait, what? Jesus, there's a lot. Hi, board. I'm dad. Holy shit! Fuck. It's gonna be a long night. That was close. That was really close. <laughs> How much fucking moonshine is in this container? Or you give this a quick douse as well. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! Haha, <laughs> hey, well, let's go light yourselves a fat cigar. You pay for this! Make your face, you're dead. We'll hold this lot up. You get those kids while we're gone. I got the red right head!
Damn, they killed our horses! Holy shit, bro. No way out of here. They seem to be taking it well. This is a goddamn mess. I need your hat, sir. I need your power. I need the power to know where you guys are at all times. He's gonna grab that horse, okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's get the hell out of here fast. Do right, follow me. Look out! There's more of them! I'm gonna leave you close. <laughs> that was awesome. Jesus, that turned into a right party. You call that a party? That break weight had got our money's worth, darling. Let's just get out of here first. I think we lost them. Holy shit, bro, that was intense. Wait a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Duchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are writing that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? <sighs> Later. I, I got some business. Right you are, English. Another job well done, I'd say. All right. Damn. Okay, guys, so I thought I lost the other mission, but I have to wait one in-game hour in order to uh, in order to do it still. So I'm going to go, uh, I guess, sleep or something, and then, uh, or not sleep. Uh, well, can I can't think I could sleep in this game, right? I'm going to go, I'm going to go wait the hour and then come back and do this mission. Kinda give me the creeps. But come on then. Hey! <laughs> oh my god! I thought I have the mask on still! <laughs> that is amazing that there's dialogue for that. That's great. Can I help you? Well, it looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. How about the stables, I think? Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. We're good men, like you. You don't know me. You turn up in town, you're helping everybody. And there's troubles everywhere. Bandits attacked my fields. 
Men getting killed? And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. In the Braithwaite's? Goddamn peasant! Man, he got serious about that. He was like, he said that with some fucking bass. How much gold? Fucking peasants. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them they'll get you five thousand. Five thousand for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them? These five thousand dollar horses. Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there. We'll run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. Crazy old fool. If he only knew we just torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich <laughs> folks' property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. 5,000 for horses. They must be rich. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Back way it is? God, this game is so pretty. I forgot how fucking pretty this game is, dude. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But, perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Thank you, sir. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the step. It was just up ahead. Heads oh. down. Play cool. We'll head around the front. Hitch up there. All right. Let's hitch up here. That was some ride. Let me do the talking. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. <laughs> These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, 
Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. This here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, old faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly. Until he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Well, we got an injured he's horse. He's up for sale for a decent price. Boss would probably sell him to you if you made the right offer. And this here is Old Father Time. <laughs> My favorite horse. His coat might be a little thin for them Saratoga winners, but uh, red, right? They'll produce another winner. Just look at those balls. <laughs> I'm gonna let that be your last word. Just look at those balls. <laughs> okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody. Be recognizing this. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Oh, I wanted the one who had big balls, man. Relax, boy. Come on, good boy. Okay. Marston. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Come on, Mr. Horse. Down, horsey. It's all right, boy. This way. Oh, right. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. Did I seriously fail? Ah, uh, shut the uh, uh, bitch! I know. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go quick. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! Stop these men! Stop! Yeah, run him over, <laughs> fucking bitch. Look out ahead! You're coming out of the fields!
think we're clear? Okay, items that I. Fuck you, that's what. You see any more of them? No? Don't think so. Alright, let's get these horses to Clemens Cove, quick, before we run into any more trouble. Whoa, you okay there, boy? One of the stallions is loose. Keep going. Up. Get him. Yeah. Come here. Come on now. Jesus Christ, this horse is fast. Over here. You got him. Well done. Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. <laughs> you think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Is disappear. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John. Who the fuck is? Oh, okay. I thought my beard was. <laughs> that's my jacket. So what you, I need to change my clothes too, cause I'm no, in warm weather I don't clothes. Like Cubans. That's so. Maybe. Why? What do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true, not one little bit. But I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it, or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clyde. <laughs> Well, that's fucked. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that gray family. Imagine we was going to. Wait, am I going into chapter four now? At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. What the hell? years old right from my mama just so Malcolm Foreman well he treated me real bad he was bad know how I slit his throat and ran away I never felt bad about killing him I ran back to where my mama was working but she died 
I was falling into trouble. Dutch. Dutch, he found me. Saved me. Raised me. Treated me right. Taught me to read. He ain't perfect. But he's the closest I've met in this world. Ain't it so, Arthur? We all loved you, Miss Tilly. Even them of us with cold hearts. You was the sweetest little thing we ever saw. And the saddest. Aww. Ladies. Good morning, Arthur. Hi. You did real good in Valentine. <laughs> Thanks. You too. I'm ready for the next one. Yeah. Let's wait a bit. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay then. You're one of us now, Tilly. Don't worry about them no more. It's just... Those bastards stole so much of my life. I know. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yes. See you later. Morning, Arthur. You managing not to kill Pearson? Only just. Oh, hey, Arthur. Oh, he ain't that bad. All right, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, fucking damn it. People there. Uh, Jacobites are English lovers, Arthur. My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. Fuck! My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this whole cabin, a couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, you can take them real easy. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. Yeah, you <sighs> just keep your cool, you hear me? I guess we're going to do this, yeah. and then I'll end the video. Alright, let's do this. Get <sighs> Is this a main mission? Oh, I think the one uh, the main mission was I was supposed to talk to Micah. I think this is a side mission. Oh, fuck it, let's go do it, and then I'll end the video. How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there Easy. anyway? Easy. Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a lot of nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need <laughs> no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Oh, what's that box by his tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that. Suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. 
You're sure you scope this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. You saw me in action in those tobacco fields. That worked out all right. I guess you could say that. <laughs> what about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up. Jenny, oh shit. See, I didn't read a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. But you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. All right. That'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right. It's going to be off the road up ahead. Good morning. Up here, Morgan. Whoa. deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. One of them outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed six posse alarm and headed this way. Now a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Oh, Head shit. Down. Here come the rest of them. You'll tell me where that money's stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. Go. Get out of here and never come back. Oh, look at this. A hut of power. I now have all of your knowledge. Here we are. You got some good stuff. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? Oh, 
Hmm, a money clip. Told you we take no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Took this up all by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. <laughs> you heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. Oh, a cigarette card. Senator Thaddeus Waxman. You find anything yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? Hey, it's over there. Yes, I know. I'm trying to... <sighs> oh, shit. found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need the lecture again. See you back at camp. You never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's gotta be other places out there like this. Hey, mister. That's one nice-looking horse you got there. Hey, partner. How about we see how fast it is? First one to Caliga Hall. Eh, sure, why not? Oh, why not? Ready? Let's go. Ah, oh, fucking damn it. <sighs> I'm going in the opposite direction! Excuse me, madam. Come on now. What's happening? I'm winning. Eh, you got this, Galaxy! You got this! I believe in you! Galaxy, I believe in you! I'm surprised yes! Darn it! Damn horse! Acting up on me! Of all the times! Good race. Could have gone either way. I wish things was different, but hey. All right, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. It feels good to be back in this game. You know, I honestly, I'm gonna shave his beard off. Williamson. Hello, Arthur. Managing not to annoy folks. Very funny. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Ah, uh, shut the uh, bitch. I know. <laughs>